Hello friends, I'm Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the Macquarie series of e to the power of tangent inverse x using the formula shown in the top right hand corner of this video. But before I do so, if you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon below this video. The equation shown in the top right hand corner of this video tells us that a function of x can be expressed as an infinite series in which we will need to evaluate the following before being able to find the Macquarie series. f0 is the function evaluated at x equals to 0. And then we have f prime 0 is the function differentiated once and evaluating at x equals to 0. We have f double prime 0 is the function differentiated twice and evaluating at x equals to 0. And f triple prime 0 is the function differentiated three times and evaluating at x equals to zero. In this particular problem, we will be expressing the Macquarie series of e to the power of tangent inverse x up to and including the x cubed term. We first define our function of x to be equals to e to the power of tangent inverse x. Next, we find y is the f prime x, which is the function differentiated one time, and we get the following. We differentiate tangent inverse x, we get 1 over 1 plus x squared, e to the power of tangent inverse x. Next, we find y is my f double prime x. For this particular part, we will be applying the product rule of differentiation from f prime x. We first differentiate y is my 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is applying the quotient rule of differentiation. We square the bottom. We bring up the bottom to the numerator. And we differentiate 1, which is 0. Subtracting away, keeping 1, differentiating 1 plus x squared, which is just 2x e to the power of tangent inverse x. And then we go on to do the second part of the product rule, which is differentiating e to the power of tangent inverse x. That gives us y over 1 plus x squared e to the power of tangent inverse x and keeping 1 over 1 plus x squared as it is. We simplify the whole equation, we get negative 2x over 1 plus x squared squared e to the power of tangent inverse x plus 1 over 1 plus x squared squared e to the power of tangent inverse x. For f triple prime x, we have to differentiate the f double prime x one more time. For both of the terms in f double prime x, we will apply the product rule of differentiation. We start with the first term, which is negative 2x over 1 plus x squared squared. We differentiate it, it becomes like this. So we apply the quotient rule of differentiation. For this case, we get 1 plus x squared to the power of 4, bring the 1 plus x squared squared up. Differentiating negative 2x, we get negative 2. Subtracting away, keeping the negative 2x, and then we differentiate 1 plus x squared squared. We get the following, 2 times the 1 plus x squared. Differentiating 1 plus x squared, we get 2x e to the power of tangent inverse x. And next, we apply the second part of the product rule of differentiation. We keep negative 2x over 1 plus x squared squared. And differentiating e to the power of tangent inverse x, we get 1 over 1 plus x squared e to the power of tangent inverse x. The next thing that we do is to differentiate the second power of f double prime x. Applying the product rule of differentiation, we get the following. We differentiate 1 over 1 plus x squared the holding square. And we get the following. 2 times the 1 over 1 plus x squared. Differentiating 1 over the 1 plus x squared. We get the following. Applying the quotient rule of differentiation, our denominator we square. We bring up the denominator to the numerator. Differentiating 1 which is 0 because it is a constant. And then keeping 1, differentiating 1 plus 2x, we get 2x and e to the power of tangent inverse x. 
and then we apply the second part of the product rule of differentiation we keep the 1 over 1 plus x squared squared as it is and then we differentiate my e to the power tangent inverse x which is 1 over 1 plus x squared e to the power tangent inverse x now we have found why it's my fx, f prime x, f double prime x, and f triple prime x. We can next find why it's my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, and f triple prime 0, substituting x equals 0 into the following function. So first thing to find f0 is substitute x equals 0 into fx. We get the following. e to the power of tangent inverse 0 is equals to e to the power of 0 is equals to 1. My f0 is equals to 1. How about f prime 0 substituting x equals 0 into f prime x? We get the following. For this particular fraction, we have 1 over 1 is just 1. e to the power of tangent inverse 0 is e to the power of 0, which also gives me 1. How about f double prime 0 substituting x equals 0 into f double prime x? Our first term itself is basically 0 because our numerator is 0. Well, for the second part of f double prime x substituting x equals to 0, basically it just gives us 1 because this part here is 1 and then e to the power of tangent inverse 0 is 1. Hence, my f double prime 0 is 0 plus 1, which is equals to 1. Last but not least, my f triple prime 0, we substitute x equals to 0 into f triple prime x. We get the following. In f triple prime x, we have four terms. We start out with the first term. The first term itself, this particular part gives me negative 2. The second part itself is 0. e to the power of tangent 0 is 1. Hence, the first term is negative 2. For the second term itself is 0, because we have this particular part, fraction, which is also 0. So my second term of f triple prime 0 is 0. How about the third term? So for the third term itself, this part is 1. This part is 0. This part is also 0. So which means my third term of f triple prime 0 is 0. How about the fourth term itself? We have basically this fraction is 1. This fraction is 1. e to the power of tangent inverse 0 is also 1. So hence my f triple prime 0 is basically just equal to negative 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 so this is equal to negative 1 hence my f triple prime 0 is negative 1 once we have my f 0 f prime 0 f double prime 0 and f triple prime 0 we can find the maclaurin series of e to the power of tangent inverse x up to and including the x cube term so the final answer we got will be e to the power of tangent inverse x can be approximated to be my f0 which is 1 plus x f prime 0 is 1 over 1 factorial plus f double prime 0 is 1 times x square over 2 factorial and then we have my x cubed f triple prime 0 is negative 1 over 3 factorial we further simplify the equation, we get the final answer which is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial. We have this final answer 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 6. This is the final answer to the Maclaurin series of e to the power of tangent inverse x. If you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe for more Maclaurin series problems. My name is Bob, thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys!